Hey, joining us on the show today is an American TV radio personality, tattoo artist, musician, actress, and philanthropist. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the show, Duchess, aka the Duchess of E. <laughs> I am amazing. I'm in Nigeria. I'm amazing. Right? So, how's it been feeling, Nigeria? Is this, this your is, first time? This is my first time. Yes. Not my last time. <laughs> okay. This is that my is your, first time. You're feeling good. I love this place. I literally have been trying to think of different businesses and different opportunities that I could create here so that I can keep having a reason to come back. <laughs> what took you so long? So eight years has been how long I have been pushing back this trip. One of my best friends, we have a uh, nonprofit organization. And we do a lot of, we do a lot of work in Makoko, and oh. I've been sending money, sending resources, oh. doing things that I could do from home. Yeah. And now I finally get to see the place oh, that wow. I've been oh, wow. able to When did support. you go to Makoko? So we go tomorrow. Okay. Oh, we go okay. Tomorrow. oh I thought you've been there. Already. No, not yet. So okay. we go tomorrow. Um, but for for years, for eight years. We've donated hygiene kits. Um, we've paid for over 300 kids to go to school. Like, we've done work that I've never been well able done. to see the spools of. Yeah. So to be able to come here and witness it, it's like, oh my gosh. Well done. Aww, well done. Well done. That is and amazing. Thank you. No, well, thank I appreciate you. Well being done. welcomed. Well done. <laughs> All right, I was reading your bio, and there was a part that says that you're an introvert. And I'm like, <laughs> and I looked at everything <laughs> you do. And I was asking myself again, how is this person an introvert? Honestly, if, if, if you see me out, you wouldn't even know that I was there except because I have so many tattoos. And I love showing my skin. But aside from that, I'm like the quiet girl that sits in the <laughs> corner that doesn't bother anybody. I speak when spoken to, but... If you get me open, then you get to see my big okay. personality. All right, so I know that Duchess isn't just Duchess just because you're literally tattoo royalty, right? <laughs> so let's talk a little bit about the people that you've tattooed because people are probably wondering, okay, I'm loving her tattoos, what's the energy? If you did not watch the show, right? Tell us, people that you've tattooed, let, let them know, girl. Oh, mm -hmm. man, we've had NBA, WNBA, I've tattooed The Baby, I've tattooed Dwight Howard, Taya Cooper, DMX. Like, the list gets crazy. But I'm going to be honest with you. I honestly feel like every person that I tattoo, whether if they're famous or just regular, I treat them all the same because I, want them, to have, I mm -hmm. want them to have an experience that you fall in love with whatever your, your decision is to get yeah. inked. Mm -hmm. yeah. And tattoos are so permanent, so yeah. you really want to love whatever really you're important. getting. So I try to treat all of my clients like they're stars because they are stars in my eyes. And they get to live and die with my ink on their body. Oh, interesting, yeah. because you look at DMX and you, mm -hmm. DMX is passed. Yes, yes. So he died with it. It took yes. him away with him. Yeah. So Dala has yeah. tattoos. <laughs> One, two, three. It's my first. The actually. start of the frame. <laughs> just, my first. I am the only person who does not have Tattoos. So we gotta we gotta figure out a yeah, way we'll, we'll, we'll to get you to get a tattoo. Well, you have to. We already told how where to get it. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Can you guess where? <laughs> Is it a place that you can see or a place that you can't see? Y'all are messy. Okay. It's all in your face. Y'all are your messy. Face. It's, on, it's, it's all, all in your, in your face. face. <laughs> <laughs> I can't, I can't disagree. <laughs> I cannot disagree. I think that is a great is place. It oh, right. It's just, it's just okay. to accentuate. Okay, so that's crazy. Um, I, I wanted to ask you, I mean, we were, we were having this discussion before the show started, and you said, you know, when you came to Nigeria, you noticed a lot of women are not tattooed. Yes. Right? And then you, you had people stare at you like, ooh, who's that? Yes. I mean, how does that feel? Honestly, <laughs> So I live in the South in America, mm -hmm. and the South is like really, really white, really, yeah. really racist. It's like the Bible Belt. Mm -hmm. So I'm used to the white people looking at me like, but when I got here to Nigeria, the men, they look at me like, <laughs> it's like an intimidation factor. Oh, like, wow. mm -hmm. oh my gosh, she's got so much tattoos. Like, it's like they want to say something, but what they're very do? apprehensive, yeah. very. <laughs> so the question I want to ask you, I mean, there's a whole lot to you aside just the tattoos. Right, um, aside even being the tattoo artist, there's an 
arts. There's the Dutchess yes. arts. Yep. So, um, and there's so, you know, so many parts, the philanthropist, the musician, everything. <laughs> so tell us about this art, Dutchess. I like to think that when you are an artist, mm -hmm. you shouldn't be put in a box. There are so many great musicians, and they're also great in other mediums of art, but we just don't give them the opportunity to display that. So for me, yes, I'm known for my tattoos, but I do murals, I do paintings, I do music, I write, like all of these things are components of art, just different mediums. Mm -hmm. So I'm very lucky, I feel very fortunate, very blessed to be able to use my creativity and create a lifestyle and be able to live off of those gifts. Yeah. And I think that when you put yourself in a box as an artist, it allows you to stay kind of in a corner of just that one level of creativity. And for me, I might be doing a painting or doing a tattoo and I'm thinking of a really great song just because the vibe I'm having <laughs> with my clients. So yeah. it's just a symbiotic energy that yeah. all of the creativity gets to flow together. One last question for me. Um, is there anything that you've set out to achieve that you haven't achieved? Because it seems like you've done so much. So growing up, when I got in high school, I wanted to be a mortician. Oh, that's I'm sorry. Why. <laughs> I'm like, I'm because sorry. I am so sorry. Like, I thought I didn't hear what you just said. No, I wanted to be a mortician. And I still, I literally just took a break because I went back to school to finish. And I'm taking like a little break right now, but I am going to finish that. I have an undergraduate oh, wow. degree in marketing and a master's in business mm -hmm. administration. Yeah. I graduated cum laude. So wow. I love education. And the fact that now I can afford to venture off yeah, into, all into of those yeah. things. Like, being a mortician was a dream because my aunt, she was murdered when I was in high school. Oh, my gosh. Oh. And we had to have a closed casket funeral oh. because of how brutal her what? murder was. Yeah. And my grandmother had a very hard time grieving that loss because she couldn't see her oh. daughter for that one last time. Yeah. So for me, I feel like it's a gift to be able to give people peace in the grieving process. For sure. Exactly. And I think that a lot of times it's so taboo because people feel like, oh my gosh, mm -hmm, it's death. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But every single person on this planet, I don't care how rich you are, how poor you are, how smart you are, how stupid you are, we're all going to die. Yeah. So it's a, a part of all of our lives that we will have to experience one mm -hmm. day. It's just having that level of comfort in you know, that process of grief. Mm. Yeah, I would, and I would like to know which is your favorite talent. Mm. <laughs> mm. My favorite talent is self love. Oh, wow! Mm. And my favorite talent is self love because, like, I embody it. I yeah. personify it, and yeah. every person that I allow myself to engage with, yeah. like, I don't care if you're the janitor or the president of the company. I treat you with the same level of love and respect. Mm -hmm, I mm -hmm. call everybody a king and a queen because I want people to feel elevated. Sometimes people are so hard on themselves and they think so bad of themselves that to hear it come from a beautiful woman, it uplifts them, it makes them feel good, especially our black men. Like I tell all black men, we have a, our gate man at our house here, that I'm staying at here in Nigeria. Every day that we would come, he would come and open the gate, but he would always be like. <laughs> 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 so one day I'm like, Baby, why you don't smile? Oh my God! And he's oh, like, him yes. <laughs> and I grabbed his hand like this, and he was like, scared for me to grab his hand. And I was like, no. I'm not scared. Baby, I'm, like, like, I'm not scared. No, baby. Are and you calling me, baby? You feel me? Fuck yeah. off. Because it makes you feel good. It makes you feel good. Huh? But now, ever since I did that, every single day, oh, he smiled. He has smiled. Oh. He has had a different presence, and oh. and something so simple as just that level of kindness yeah. mm -hmm. can elevate him to think more highly of himself. I totally agree. Like, why not do it? It doesn't yeah. cost me one dollar. It doesn't yeah. take anything from me. It just adds value to him. So yeah. I always try to do something that makes other people feel good about themselves because you never know. We all are going through things. Mm -hmm. We all go through loss, death, you know, trials and tribulations, hardships. Mm -hmm. And you don't know where anybody is at in that moment just by looking at them. Yeah. So just to give them that level of kindness, it just, for it, me, it does something. So I know what it does for someone for else. For me, I'm just, um, I'm, I'm in awe at how you see art in mm -hmm. everything. And it's connected to love. You know, like you said, you're, you, you embody love. And we have so much to talk about. What did you try? I tried. <laughs> what did you try? <laughs> I had, um, we had like five different soups. 
Ooh. with the swallow. Yes. I thought you were going to start with like jollof rice or oh, what Well, jollof rice is kind of, we oh, okay. have that in America. I, oh, okay. We <laughs> have some Nigerian restaurants in, in North Carolina that they have jollof rice. Okay. But the actual soup and the swallow, completely Egusi. new to me. Yes. <laughs> yes, I remember that one. <laughs> so did you oh. enjoy any of them? Spicy? Too spicy? spicy, maybe? I love spicy. Oh, okay. Okay. You oh. know what my issue is? The fishiness. Oh. Ooh. The fishiness. <laughs> are you allergic to fish? So, no, I'm not. But in America, we do the opposite of what you all do. You mm. embrace the fishy taste, like the the the, the freshness. Mm. Yeah. Oh. What we do is we Perfect. take... Exactly. Yeah. We take lemon juice and lime juice, mm. and, and we it. minimize and take away the fishiness. So it's a completely different taste. But mm -hmm. it's the same. Like, I had some croaker fish, and I'm <laughs> used to eating croaker fish. I'm a country girl. <laughs> okay. Wow. So that was a great... That was a great parallel for me. Nice. But some of the other dishes were a little... Yeah. I was like, mm. Take some getting used to. But I, I ate it. I tried. And I usually <laughs> never no, try, try new things, especially when it comes to food. Yeah. So I'm, I'm patting myself on the back for at <laughs> least trying. Yeah. All right, so, 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 so second question now. Did anybody tell you why there aren't so many tattooed women in Nigeria, or tattooed people in general in Nigeria? Did anybody tell you why? Yes. So I was told a couple things. Mm -hmm. One of the first myths that I was told was that you won't be able to give blood or give your organs. That's a myth. That's not true. The other thing is, it's very traditional here. Mm -hmm. So a lot, of, a lot of the people, after speaking to them, they won't do tattoos out of respect of their elders, their mm -hmm. parents or mm -hmm. their grandparents, mm -hmm. chiefs, and all of those things, which I completely understand because my grandma was like, girl, <laughs> you need to chill. <laughs> so I get it. But for me, I think the fact that the new generation, we're starting to become so caught up on being an individual mm -hmm. and understanding what that means for yourself that I think that barrier is going to be broken. That stereotype is yeah. going to be turned down. Okay. All right, let's talk about your music. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that particular video I loved, and uh, I was like, okay, did you get that off Will Smith? Get <laughs> my name out of your mouth. Well, honestly... <laughs> My song was before that incident, but I should have used that incident, like you said, <laughs> to promote that, that song. You, know, you just use it to promote the song, like, what? Yes. Yeah. That song is basically, like, when I left Black Ink. By the way, I am a fan. I watch Black Ink. Big fan. I do not even have any tattoos. <laughs> then I was always looking forward to all the bruha in, like, why is it that there is such gangsterism with <laughs> how is it that okay for you to have piercings for you to have these people and maybe that is why people just look at people in a certain way yeah mm -hmm. see that they're always fighting so i'm gonna be honest with you just like here mm -hmm. this is y'all's work environment right yeah some days you might have a bad day some days you might have a bad day and they know you well enough to know okay she's Stay having away. a bad day yeah. let me leave her alone mm -hmm. It's like that with that, except instead of them leaving you alone, they just keep they poke. <laughs> poking at you, keep nagging at you. So it's like you got to give that reaction of what that feels like because you're aggravated. And then mm -hmm. you got these cameras around you. You don't really have any personal anything. And for me, that's what it was. I couldn't deal with the fact that anything in my personal life was now on mainstream forefront for everybody to have an opinion of, to have a judgment of. And everybody wants to tell you what you're doing wrong, but they never done it. So it's like, ah, <laughs> it just okay, gets so crazy. I want to ask you, I mean, you're here in Nigeria. And I know you have lots of plans. Um, you're going to Makoko tomorrow. So tell us. Um, Makoko. You said Makoko. What's your business with that? I, I'm, not, not I'm not from, we're, we're not from hey, here. Hey, hey. He's like, who's not from here? I am from here. Makoko. No, Makoko. No, Makoko. You're going to Makoko. <laughs> so they say it's Makoko. 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 No, Makoko. 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 Okay. All right. So, <laughs> I mean, you have a lot of plans. So, I mean, do you want to lay out for us? What's your plan? In New Nigeria? music as what well. What are you going to be doing? What are the stuff yeah. you're going to be doing? The amazing right? things I'm doing here in Nigeria. I'm coming back in April. Ooh. We're planning a tattoo party. Oh, wow. Yes. What's that going to look like? 
It's going to look like just amazing people being able to come, interact, engage, see the process, understand it. If they want to get a tattoo, they'll be able to get a small tattoo. Mm -hmm. I just want to break some of the stigmas that people have with tattoos. And mm -hmm. I think having a tattoo party kind of can bring us all together mm -hmm. in a space to just create a vibe around yeah, yeah. tattoos. Yeah. Um, another thing we're working on, my best friend Tasha, she has a bag, like a, a leather bag. It's a beautifully yeah, executed that. bag that is made in conjunction with a Nigerian designer here, mm -hmm. Winston Leather. And we're working on another collab that I will be a part of designing a bag here. So mm -hmm. I'm just excited. And I want to do workshops for some of the tattoo artists here mm -hmm. to kind of like help them get some of the advancements that we have with tattoos. Because a, a lot of times when you come to places, especially outside of, you know, the U.S. and other places, they don't really have access to the things that we have access to. Mm -hmm. But if they did have access, it would, be it would be phenomenal changes. Yeah. So I'm hoping to really come here and, and be a, a bigger part of that space. My music, I'm dropping it. I cannot wait. I have a song called Black Man that is a celebration to black kings. Thank you very much. <laughs> black kings everywhere. And I want black men to feel that feeling when they hear that song. I feel like a lot of times we so hard on our men that it's a cycle. So that makes them be hard on us. Mm. So maybe if we break the cycle by celebrating them, mm -hmm. maybe they can return the energy and celebrate us. Oh, wow. Thank oh. you so very much oh. for coming on the show today. I'm we so really grateful. We really appreciate you. I mean, keep preaching love. Please love. come again so that they can keep showing me love. Yeah, because I got to get yeah, a tattoo on this me. one. <laughs> she, can't, she can't be the only one up here with no tattoos. <laughs> And that is with our guest, <laughs> Duchess. Yes, yeah, so we'll be back with our Friday banter, so don't you even go anywhere.